My love of fashion started really young. My family used to go to the south of France every summer, and there was this store on Rue d'Antibes called Diablerie, and I was obsessed with this fur coat, and it was like $1,000, and I was eight years old, and I was like, I need to have this coat. And finally, my grandmother caved and bought it for me, and I wore it to the beach the next day because I have no patience. My parents always joke that I have an illness, and that is shopping, so I thank God every day that I was able to turn my disease into a career. I write the blog, The Man Repeller. It's a site about trends that women love and men hate. These are sort of in the shape of a circle, have a little cutout over here. When I wear them, it's pretty offensive. They're like up until here. I would try them on for you, but I don't want to scare you. This floral print tacoon top would either be perfect with a little Balenciaga vest over it or a Philip Lim leopard print coat. Tacoon plaid jacket, perfect with a high waist skirt. It's this fun navy jacket with black leather sleeves and then party in the back. Woo woo, party in the back. Woo woo. This in itself would probably be a man repeller item. My favorite Proenza schooler dress. <laughs> Put a little printed t-shirt underneath it and you can see the prints coming out of everywhere. Man repeller approved. My great grandmother gave it to me. It's Chanel from when Coco Chanel was still designing. Proenza schooler times J brand. They stick to each other. Holy man repeller, are you thinking what I'm thinking? My mom probably didn't realize when she had those framed that I'd become such a shoe horse. This is my collection, 73. But that doesn't count the 36 pairs I have in the Hamptons. My grandmother bought me my first pair of designer shoes ever, which were these when I was 15. Isn't that sweet? I hate them, but I'll never throw them away. These are statement shoes. They do all the talking for your outfit. Ta-da! Shoes with a cape. Look, it's like a superhero shoe. Frank Sinatra shoes for when I feel like wearing a wingtip. I bought these ones on Blue Fly. They're YSL, this perfect shade of green. My Little Pony goes drag right this way. Vive la leopard print. My tacoon for Giuseppe Zanotti shoes. When I'm wearing them, it is just this special feeling of, are those chihuahuas on my feet or am I walking? I coined this term called the arm party, and that consists of wearing multiple wrist pieces on one's wrist. This is what I call my rabbi hat. It's my temple topper, because I look like a Hasidic Jew when I wear it. The triple bow, triple threat arm party right here. I've got this super vintage ostrich skin Hermes clutch that my grandmother gave me. It's really, really old and really, really awesome. I one time vomited in it. There's a mustache necklace named the Salvador. Birth control glasses, you know, the type of eyeglasses that women love because they think they're really cool, nerdy, chic, yada yada. These are just two cuffs and a little skinny bangle and a skull. These are more like arm soirees, a little more elegant. It's not, it's not a full-fledged party, maybe like an arm gathering. Right now where I'm sitting is typically where I do most of my blogging. Sometimes I'm actually inside the bed. It's where I turn a man getting garment into a man repeller. Start with a really tight dress, start layering over it. I started with a little silk shirt. Over the silk shirt went a denim shirt. Over the denim shirt, I went for a little utility vest. So that's vest on shirt on vest. I added a really cool big necklace and a turban and some snake print shoes that look like houses. I dare you to ask me on a date. 